to the Nerdiverse. Go ahead, sit and listen to the masters, the old heads, talk about what you love the most. Video games, comics, movies, and everything you need to maintain your We got the knowledge that's straight out the ether. Gonna need a drink and have to take a seat to expand your mind and listen to the speaker. Mike and the squad's gonna give you what you need. Please uh, send in a question, come and get some answers, learn a couple less from the masters with the special guests. We got the green lanterns glowing on our chest. Yes, please sit back and relax, cause we gonna hit you with them stole cold facts and allow me to be the very first to welcome you to the masters of the nerdiverse welcome to masters of the nerdiverse where we always have such sites to show you you can find this explosionary eyebrow of a podcast on itunes stitcher spreaker soundcloud youtube iHeartRadio and Google Play. And if you're in the future and part of the uh, F- United Federation of Planets, you may be listening to this on Spotify as well. Fingers and toes crossed infinite. I am, of course, your host, Mike G. And with me, as always, is my slightly superstitious co host. Take me home to a place I belong. Fallout 7. Oh, geez. 6, 7. Six, seven, seventy-six. Someone's excited. Somebody's excited to get to the news. What, there was an announcement? So let's go. <laughs> oh, you're just singing that song. Okay. You're like, what happened? <laughs> Who did it? Oh, man. What's going on, Winter, dude? I am having a fantastic week here live at Mariposa County. Oh, I just docked myself. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. Come yeah, it's me. too Come late. It's already too late. Um. Come at yeah, come at me, bro. You, if you just look at my name online, you'll find me. I'm not that hard to find. Um, yeah, we're not. We don't hide here yeah. at the Nerdiverse. If you want to come holla, come holla. I guess. Please do. So it makes me know that someone's listening. Besides, uh, there's this one lady that keeps me commenting on the Facebook page. I can't remember her name. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> she, she she's our day one. She's our A one yeah. from from day one. That's Hardcore right. fan that's always seems saying. to be like right on when we post something. She'll be the first comment on. Anyways, uh, been watching some. I've been connecting that's... my Overwatch account to my Twitch and uh, Blizzard. Um, yeah, I've been okay. playing some Overwatch a lot more. Been watching Overwatch League some more. Uh, this is all leading up to some interesting stuff happening in the future, maybe for winter. Like, I might be ditching console altogether and going strictly to PC gaming. Um, nice. just gonna go for it. Yeah, I'm never gonna have a thousand bucks, but if I just like buy something that I can upgrade over time, I think I'd be happy with that because I've, I've been getting saltier and saltier with, uh, co- fellow console gamers. We're getting off. We're getting off the rails. It's just it's on this crazy train. I had no week. All my week was was the news. I was gathering the news. I was I was archiving the news? <laughs> I had no. Yeah, week. I was watching the EC E three streams. Probably everyone else was as well. Yeah, man. Um, I was watching Funhouse's stream on YouTube, and they were playing a drinking game. Um, whenever there was a technical uh error. <laughs> which was several. Right. Um, whenever they announced the new battle royale, <laughs> um, whenever they used the term diversity, Ugh, right. Oh, whenever they announced, they uh, when they mentioned uh, cyberpunks, <laughs> they got just a, take a shot, a huh? Drink. Yeah, yeah. We all gonna be drunk by the end of this E three if that's the case, <laughs> which is still going on to this moment. So, speaking of which. It is kind of yeah. The, the show floor is open. Yeah. People are walking around. Yeah. Boo! Go on. Boo! Okay. You got booed like that old lady in the Princess Bride. Boo! How much does it cost to go to E three? What the? Price? It's expensive as shit. Like if you're, if you have a reason to be there, if you're like a journalist or whatever, it's, it's yeah. I, I think a badge is not that bad. But people are outside selling them shits for like three hundred and fifty dollars for like three day passes and up. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty. Because I know a guy up here. Um, shout out to uh, I think their site's called Twin Stick. Um, who went? Uh, who went to E3? 
And I was like, wow, are those expensive? He's like, oh, I don't know. Isn't money relative? I'm like, shut up. Like, I don't want to just dive into, like, wax poetic. Just give me a price, man. (laughs) Yeah. He's like, isn't money just our minds? Like, how much do you want for the tickets, man? He's like, you're going to get a smack. I'm going to smack you upside the patoots. You're going to get a bum in the punch. Uh, Barring anything else from the week, you want to get into this news, man, because we have a metric ton of things to talk about. Yeah, let's do it. I'm just going to cover a couple of things that weren't E3 related really quick that I wanted to kind of mention. The intro. And then this, yeah. And then this is pretty much how it's going to work. Uh, we're going to go through this conference for conference and we're going to just touch on the things that happened. And if there's something we really want to talk about, then we'll just dive into it a, a little bit because there's literally like 70 or 80 different topics that we're going to have to just kind of lightning round through. Are you cool with that winner? Yeah, let's do it. All right, real quick, let's go over regular ass news. Uh, MTV is developing an Avion Flux live action reboot. Who's asking for that? Yeah, um, now, Jason, <laughs> hmm? I'm just gonna say one thing. I thought I thought yeah. Aeon Flux was ultraviolet, and I was getting stoked, but then <laughs> I was like Aeon Flux no. is something different. Okay, Aeon Flux is liquid for those old heads at MTV Liquid Television. Oh man, watching that at five in the morning. Uh, James Wan apparently is producing an arachnophobia remake with all CG spiders. Get hype. <laughs> Why did they finish Aquaman? Okay. <laughs> I know. Can I see Aquaman yeah. first? You can never make a movie like arachnophobia ever again. Give me, you know what give I mean? me like Insidious 12. Give me like six more Insidious. <laughs> With the way that PETA, the way that PETA and the protection of animals rights things are going now, there's no way you're going to have a hundred spiders just floating around a movie set. Right. It's all going to be CG. It's going to look like crap. Don't do it. Uh, and lastly, Jeff Johns is leaving DC Entertainment to kind of start his own internal thing, but he's not leaving. He's just stepping down from the CEO role and he wants to be more hands on. So he's starting a production studio. And apparently the first thing he's going to be working on is a Green Lantern core film. Yeah. So I look I like me yeah. some Jeff Johns. What do you do Basil? Why I like to see comics. That's what I'm saying. Basil? <laughs> <laughs> you make me think of fault. Make Fawlty me think Powers? of uh, uh, fault. Oh. Uh, no, uh, Faulty Towers. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, dating yourself. I'm dating myself with Austin Powers. Dating myself. If I dated myself, I would be yes, a cheap Before we go on to E3, this um, brings up something. Do you think Austin Powers could survive as a film nowadays? Like if they did like a remake, if they did Austin Powers 4? No, because it's one of those movies that really lives and dies on the on the original Austin Powers. Like it's hard. Anything would just be a, if it's not Mike Myers, like if Mike Myers just decided to start acting again and did and did another Austin Powers, that's one thing. But if you got someone like, like Seth Rogen or yeah. whoever the new actors are now, it just would be a caricature. It's like, it's like, could they do Pirates of the Caribbean again without Johnny Depp? You right. know, it's like, no, because anything you have to do something completely different. Like, there's like, it's just no way. Otherwise, it's going to feel like a bad. Uh, uh, sort of looking for improvisation of that character. But so do it's you like. Think- the yeah, but even with Mike Myers, would this survive? Because there, there is like, well, I'll let you answer first. No worries. Yeah. Um, in this climate, we kind of need some levity. <laughs> so I think if it was written smart, and I think if they said it in the 80s instead of the 70s and kind of mixed it up a little bit, we could have a pretty decent like Austin Powers movie. Because even the Austin Powers movie. It's it's dating itself within a, a date. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's a nineties movie which already dates it, but it's taking but it's playing against seventies stuff. So now watching it like in two thousand eighteen, it's a <laughs> it's a a history caricature of a history caricature. You know, so if they kept that going and just had him wake up in the eighties, you know what I mean, or wake up in right. the, the now. I don't know, you know, like it's very kind of low key sexist. It's, it has a bunch of you know dick and fart jokes, which still fly nowadays. It just would need to be written very very well. And I heard one of the main reasons 
why we never got another Austin Powers is because Mike Myers just didn't think his script was funny. He's like, I'm just not going to shop this until I feel like it's right. Maybe he's still working on it. Maybe he's giving up on it. He's just chilling with his money. All that shit. So uh, yeah, that just came to mind. And also, uh, we can move on now. And all, and just to re- let the audience know, I'm fine. Yeah. Just found out I didn't completely set up my mic, so you're actually getting my mic from my laptop, like a pro. <laughs> oh, no, did no, you just no, want to no, start no, this over? If you, if I sound good to you, all then right. it, uh, it should be all right. You don't sound any different because at first you sound a yeah. little f- far away. I just figured, uh, just maybe, I because honestly, for those, I just my Windows updated, just update just happened, so God knows how it did to my settings. So I just figured, oh, I can't really hear them. Maybe it's just some weird Windows ups, um, mm-hmm. update I need to fix. Yeah, just to let you know, yeah. So for all you podcasters out there, remember sound a little better though to check your settings. Okay. Hashtag check check your settings. I had to do that mess myself. And I think I, yeah, cool. Uh, anything else, Winta, before we get into this beastly Let's, E3 news? Us two get into this E3 news for us. <laughs> e, all right. Uh, this is going to be the, the metric of if we dive into it. I'm going to give you an E3 announcement. Uh, you, you you have the right to veto if you just want to talk about it, which is fine. But if you feel kind of lax about it, it's, um, are you going to, do you want to talk, balk, or skip? <laughs> Meaning, do you want to talk about it? Do you want to tease it? Or do you just want to skip it and move on to the next thing? How's that sound? I believe I understand these rules. Yes, sir. Let's mm-hmm. do it. So we're going to talk about the stuff that happened right before E3, right before the big press conferences from Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft, whatever. So I'm going to give you one. Um, Dead or Alive 6 was announced. Uh, new fighting game. Bach. <laughs> okay, what, what's, what's, why Bach? Were you not, you're not feeling Dead or Alive there? You're not feeling that technical? I thought Bach, Bach was just to uh, announce it. Bach is, to, I'm more- Bach is to tease it. Skip is to oh. move on to the next thing. Oh, yeah, I just want to tease it. Dead or alive, let's tease it. Okay, Until they bring back volleyball, let's tease it. Jeez, <laughs> nice. It looks good. looks fine. Uh, they're focusing less on the TNA and focusing like on the fighting, which a lot of people are really salty about, and I think it's hilarious because people need to grow up. It's funny. But All dead right. or alive is not for grown-ups. <laughs> Thank you. It's a funny yeah. thing. It's a funny thing, man. It's like... Yeah. Are you are you aging with your audience, or do you still want to have the five million dollar boob jiggle physics? You know what I'm saying? It's just like it's whatever floats your boat, I guess. Um, Hitman Two was announced. Were you a big Hitman player? Not really, but I still give it two thumbs up. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and call that a nice, respectable skip. <laughs> yep. All right, so I'm gonna do these backwards. So it's gonna it's gonna go Nintendo, Sony, PC. Ubisoft, Square, uh, Digi- um, Devour Digital, Bethesda, Microsoft, EA. So that's how we're going to do it. All so right. we're going to start start with Nintendo. Uh, I saw the trailer for this game. Uh, Daemon X Machina. It looks like uh, an Armored Core game for yep. the Nintendo. Did you see this trailer? Um, yeah. And I did my best chicken impersonation. I went, bok, bok, bok. <laughs> Dang, that means no bueno, bro. I don't know anything uh, about it. I'm I'm yeah, cool on either. it as well. <laughs> All right, moving on. Lightning round. We go. We gotta. We gotta do it. Uh, Fortnite goes to the switch. <laughs> ding 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 ding. It's lit, fam. <laughs> lit, fam. Four twenty all day. I wouldn't mind playing Fortnite on the go, though. That's no. the one thing. It's like on the go. Everything's on the go. You know well, here's the thing. They already have Fortnite on the go for your uh, for your phone, Apple right? phone, and it's yes. going to uh, Samsung or Android in in the in the summer, I believe. So, yeah. um, but the Switch would probably have the better capabilities of running Fortnite, I think, especially because, from somebody's phone because it's yeah. an actual gaming system, right? So yeah, so I get that. Uh, Pokemon, let's go. 
shows their Mew review reveal. Yeah. Good for them. <laughs> Good for them. Xenoblade Chronicles two DLC review. Uh, re- cool. oh, I keep saying review. I like. I like that. You like? Do you like Xenoblade or you like my mess up? <laughs> <laughs> I like both. I like both. Nice, I like how they're nice. giving DLC. There you go. Smash Brothers Ultimate. I did want to talk about this for Let's a second. Talk about it. I'm actually excited about this. So everybody's wondering what what Smash Brothers was going to be on the Switch because they were like, uh-huh. is it just going to be a port? You know what I'm saying? Is it going to be just uh, no updates? What are they going to do? What Smash Brothers Ultimate is, is every single Smash game ever made updated and up to put on the Switch. Meaning every character that you've missed, like Solid Snake or Ice Climber was a big one that people were just really missing. One guy's reaction video to Ice Climber is st- stupid, insane, just losing his damn mind. All the old stages, I'm hoping all the music from all the games are going to be in it. And it's this huge ultimate version of smash brothers if you played melee if you played brawl i played a lot of brawl as a kid this is another console seller like if you're a smash head you're gonna buy a switch just to play this thing you know what i mean absolutely and uh, and another thing is i don't know if they so they have a new character a couple of new characters yeah. is it yeah. sonic new this year oh no sonic was uh introduced in brawl i think oh ridley is the new one Sorry. Ridley is the new one. That's another news. So, so we can just say that Ridley from Metroid is making her review, her debut. Keep saying review. Uh, in in Smash Brothers, uh, I want to call it Infinite. <laughs> right. Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, also, another new character is the Inkling from. Uh, if you played Splatoon, yeah, a lot of people didn't. That. But <laughs> about that. But Smash uh, Brothers Ultimate, man, it's looking pretty, pretty spicy, though. Yeah, you know? I like how you also have the option to uh, have the maps competitive style because yes. if you, if you watch the Invitational, they uh, removed the ultimates and like items like during the grand finale final. Mm-hmm. I thought that's interesting. Final yeah. destination, right? Uh, Mango Nation. But yeah, make every stage final destination if you wanted to. So there's no quote unquote banned stages. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. play whatever stage you want. There's a competitive version of each stage. Turn off all trophies. Just, I guess, skill for skill, I guess. Exactly. Uh, also, they're coming up with a new GameCube controller for the, for the Nintendo uh, Switch. Mm-hmm. Which has me excited because if Switch because if Soul Calibur gets ported to the Switch, I would like to play Soul Calibur on a GameCube controller because that's how I originally played Soul Calibur Two was on a GameCube controller. So if that happens, fingers crossed, then that's a seller for me right there. I always like I always like good peripherals. Hopefully, it's not cheap. But when does Nintendo make cheap peripherals? Even Labo is kind of well, solid if you actually got yeah. your hands on it. That's true. You know what I mean? Uh, other Mario news. Super Mario Party is also was announced. So a new Mario, Mario Party is coming out. Mm-hmm. So if you have a Switch and you have people over, just have them bake, break out Mario Party and then they start eating each other. From That's going to be anger. interesting because isn't the Switch like, yeah, you can split the controllers into two different controllers. But what if so this how do you get more than two players? Uh, Would you bring in well, another the- control? I saw this cool thing that they did during the press presser mm-hmm. where you can take multiple switches and connect them and Ooh. make like puzzle games and stuff. So you line yeah. them up a certain way and, yeah. it ma- and it makes like a track. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's really funky looking, but it looks oh dope. Yeah. So they're going to have, so there's going to be at least, I'm going to say 200 people or if not more, that are going to own two switches. You kind of have to. People are buying these for their kids, and it's like if I had kids, I would buy a Switch for me and a buy a Switch for them. For, for, one for them to tear up, and one that I keep yeah. for me personally. Who are they? Are these so, Daddy Warbucks running around? I'm just saying, like if you go to a party and three and there's two controllers to a Switch, uh, handheld, and there's three Switches, then you have a six yeah. person, you know, Donnie Brook going on. That's pretty. That's not bad. You know? But how about this idea? Because the, the technology is out there. I've seen it done before. 
you uh make it so that people can use their phones or the controller. You know, Nintendo and phones don't get along. You know what I mean? Nintendo's had a bad yeah. kind of outside of Pokemon Go, which was pretty much like godlike for a split second. Mm-hmm. Nintendo peripheries playing with like phones and, and like soft phones and stuff like that. That's a great idea. But then it's like, it's like, oh, they they don't need to buy our Switch because they already have a phone. You know yeah. what I mean? So they, they want to avoid wise, people like think linking those two together. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's yeah. like, yeah, I don't need to buy your drinks because I have drinks at home. <laughs> it's like, damn it. <laughs> but we that's, should that's move on. Worst. Absolutely. So that was pretty much a Nintendo press conference. Uh, they, they didn't show much. It was mostly like a Smash conference, honestly. Mm-hmm. And they're just talking about um, a lot of the Smash changes and uh, the one new char- the two new characters, um, Inkling uh, and uh, Ridley, or Ripley, rather. Ridley. Ridley. It's Ridley, yeah. based on Ridley Scott. So, cool. So, well, let's move I, on to the I Sony was, Pro. I was freaking yeah. out because the way they made the trailer, and they kept saying Ridley, my mind actually, well, are they saying Ripley? Are you saying that this is going to be a Xenomorph? And I'm like losing my mind. Like, I'm going to have to buy Smash Brothers right now. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. It's the Predator for Smash. <laughs> predator yeah. stocks his way into Smash. Hey, oh, if they day can one. get Metal Gear Solid Snake in there. They got, yeah, if they can get, man, if they can get him in there, they can get like Jill Valentine from, from Resident Evil in there. The door oh, is wide open for Crash Bandicoot to be next or Spyro. Okay. Sub Sub Zero for Smash. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, did you watch the Sony press conference? Yeah. First of all, I, this, a, this is what I texted my friend. Like, they need to hire me next year to do their <laughs> presentation because they, whoever. They should hire anyone. <laughs> no, don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. They okay, should hire for sure, me. For sure, for sure. <laughs> yes. I already have something in place that we could work out. They they just need to stop trying to be edgy. I don't know. I don't think it's edgy. I just they're too creative for their own good. You know what I mean? It's like okay, okay. Th- think about this. We're gonna have it in the actual location that the, the trailer is gonna intro in, and right. then we're gonna have a short intermission where people have to walk like half a city block to the actual. Uh, pre- uh, actual presenters area, right. and it was the most awkward uh block ever. You know what yeah. I mean? It it was so uncomfortable. It's just like what? Like why right. are we doing this? Well, this and we'll see from the announcements. Uh, Sony and PlayStation are going for like this screamed of like someone who just left art school or something like that, or I don't like know, man. It, it was <laughs> to me. It was like. They're trying to do so many things to show that we're the adult console. You could you could play right. all the yeah right. we like if you are wanting story story driven games. They said that a lot. Like games yeah. that take you, immerse you into the storyline. And it's like you want PlayStation. It's like, but I don't Xbox know. Xbox does has like a couple of these games coming out as well. <laughs> it's like Nintendo's for the hippies. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. Sony's for the hippies, right? For the toity toity, I'm too adult to play video games, video games for story. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo's for the children and Xbox is for the dude bros. Or, you know what I mean? Sony's for college grads. PC, <sighs> PC are for the people that think college grads are too full of themselves. PC uh, Xbox is for the seniors in high school drinking monster. And yeah. Nintendo is for everyone who's drunk. <laughs> Nintendo's for everyone who's five years old yeah. or 75 years old. That's true. <laughs> you know Nintendo I mean? so brings like, everyone together. I swear to God. But, but yeah, the, uh, the the conference opens up to the Last of Us 2 yep. gameplay trailer. What did you think of this universal statement of a trailer, man? I liked it. I'm waiting for the first people, first uh like a group of people to burn their copies of last of us too. <laughs> oh, cause uh, you know, you know it, man. People are salty, dude. Like, I have no idea why, but I know why. Girl, kissing kissing, but... In a video game. In a video game. <laughs> we got a crush. Are we not safe? 
Yes. We had a deal. <laughs> we had a deal, Naughty Dog. <laughs> why is that dog deal. naughty, though? You never ask. Do you? Now you know. Yeah. Now you know why the dog's naughty. Uh, little tongue <laughs> action on the dance floor. But yeah, it looks good. Of course it looks yeah. good. It's Last of Us 2, man. It yeah, looks it looks awesome. Freaking amazing, right? Hashtag, where's get... my Joel? Hashtag, where's my Joel? He's in the cut, dog. He's too old and, and whack, man. I bet you're no, not going to see Joel. I would love it. I would love mm-hmm. it. He's like a drunken man who needs to sober up to save Ellie. Yeah, just have him be a broken man. Yeah. And this is really Ellie's revenge. You know what I'm saying? Like, Joel shows up, and he's like, like Jesus, Ellie, <laughs> did you have to kill them all? She's like, yes, they all have to die. Yeah. They took my lady love, and I'm going to take their throats. And then have in the background, all around me are the million faces. I no, it was that one song she together. played. Remember the original trailer where she she was on guitar and played that one song, Through the Valley? The song is so freaking good. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I had to download that song. All right. Let's all right keep, Last of Us 2. <laughs> Last, Last of Us 2 look good. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is going to be free on PlayStation Plus, I guess, this month. That's a big get. Yeah, skip. PlayStation Plus doesn't really get that many <laughs> gets. Anyway. Ghost of Shishima. Did you watch this beautiful last trailer? It looks awesome. It looks... I want it. I just... I, oh, man. It's... For those who don't know, it's based in, like, feudal Japan during, like, the Mongolian, like, raids and, like, invasion. And the game looks like a Kurosawa film. It looks like, you know, the Seven Samurai. Like, I want, it, I want a version of the game in black and white. It's pretty much what I'm saying. Like, I want it... It just yeah. looks so crisp, and I couldn't tell if it was in... It, of course, it was, like, in-engine, but it wasn't, like, a life bar or, like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> like, a directional I'm, gonna say they, they, I'm definitely going to say they have a no-HUD uh, feature. They, they, they have to have a no HUD, man, because yeah. that looked kind of nuts. It was like kind of they were doing. He was doing like frame, like single frame, like parries in that thing. Mm-hmm. I was like, there's no way they're just going to expect you to know how to do that. There has to be some kind of UI to the game. But I, I guess I understand why they would leave that out for a cinematic trailer, just to, so you can focus on the beautifulness and each individual, you know. Uh, uh, you know, Sakura flower falling on the ground, and it just was gorgeous. These are, it, was it who who makes this like Sunker Punch? I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, the guys who made Infamous is like who ha- who knew they had it in them. It looks like a PlayStation Five game. The game looks nuts. It's just gonna blow up your a PlayStation, PlayStation Five game. Right? Don't give them the yeah. idea, please. Uh, no, it's coming, baby. It's coming. It's coming, Bubba. Uh, there's another game that um, aired called Control, New Remedy game. It looked fake at first, and then it looked real. <laughs> like it looked like a Twilight Zone episode. It looks like a Black Mirror episode, actually. I don't know what to make of it. Yeah, so, I, you have yeah, any strong feelings about that trailer? I think I, I must have missed it. I don't remember Control. <laughs> it was a, it was a girl, and she was like floating in mid air. And she was doing powers and stuff, but the ceiling was reversing into itself and all types of crazy stuff. Look kind of look kind of funky. Yeah. Moving on. Uh there is uh the Death Stranding trailer. Skip. What the no, f- just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, I would I'm super cool to skip this because I don't know what I'm kind of starting to get frustrated. Yep. Like, what what is this? Like I still don't know what this game is. I'm telling everyone. I'm telling like what you you do you remember the first time it was like one of our first episodes we did together. I said that creative people like they're they're yeah they need a they need a square to be in and then yeah. but the pro- problem it's self defeating. It's a snake eating itself because once the square is gone, the uh, uh, Kojima is like I could do whatever I want and then this is what happens. <laughs> I was. You know, you said that, and I kind of laughed it off, but you're right. It's like you've let the genie out the bottle, and now the genie has infinite power, and it doesn't know what to do with its power. So you have a 10-minute sizzle reel of Norman Norman Reedus just walking around, beautiful 
money landscape. It's the mo- the game is just money. Right. It just looks beautiful, right? No, like that people are going to throw their money at it. That's what yeah, I mean. people are going to throw their money at this game. That being said, it looks boring as shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It looks boring as shit. Like, what am I doing? Like, I get it. Like, I'm walking around. There's some kind of weird 12 Devils of Kimon that we got to watch out for. They see some invisible aliens. I don't know. I, it's too smart for me, I guess. I guess I'm some I guess I'm a a pleb who doesn't know how to art, but this game has one more trailer before I, I just dis I mentally disconnect. Right. For me personally. Well it's gonna be the people like, that are like like people know that I do not like Assassin's Creed. Because there's a certain quest there's several quests in there where you have to keep a distance behind somebody while they're walking around and there's just you like there's, set, there's like lulls in the game where everything slows down, it seems like to me. Now, imagine yeah. that's the entirety of the game. At least that's what we're getting from the trailer, that it's just slow. Like, what is what is the action progression? What is the call to action for this game? What is the combat system? What's the UI? <laughs> what <Right>. is it? <laughs> like, I'm done. I'm, Let me I'm show you this baby done. that has a light, though. It's like, this what? baby glows in, in the, the dark world. in his weird gelatin bath. Let me show you, like, a Linda Wagner de-aged to, like, 22. You yeah. know, just you know, That's stuff, what we're asking man. for. Because <laughs> that's what we need, man. Ugh. There was this weird Rick and Morty game that's coming out. I guess the creators of Rick and Morty making a game called Trover Saves the Universe. It was just them yucking it up, doing, like, improv, but in video game form. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. It's like, okay. Justin Rowland, creator of Rick and Morty, is very, very interesting guy. His rise to where he is now is very interesting. But it's because it, he, he does like two voices all the time. Like the two voices that you hear from the trailer are Rick and Morty. Just different characters. They're just Rick and Morty. Yeah. But and they're so connected to Rick and Morty now that people are going to go, oh, that's just him doing Rick and Morty again. But at the same time, it's not like he can't not do that voice because then people won't know what it is. He's stuck. Right. That's true. <laughs> but if they just go, Justin Rowland from Rick and Morty is writing this, they go, oh, I know Rick and Morty. But then the kids are going to say who? No. They Szechuan know, sauce? They know Justin Rowland. They know him. All right. Or at least if they made a Rick and Morty video game, which this should have been. <laughs> right. Moving on. It, moving on. Kingdom Hearts 3 had a trailer yeah. where it showed a bunch more stuff. I love me some Kingdom Hearts. I'm gonna, it's a day one buy for me. Yeah. It you know did get me pumped up. I don't like Kingdom Hearts, and I think it, it pumped me up, especially with everyone going, they did it! They got Johnny Depp! I'm like, it wasn't he in one before this? I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. What? I don't get that part. And it's like the the ultra real realistic setting of like the pirates world is kind of freaky. Yeah. On the backdrop of Donald standing there. <laughs> it's kind of weird. You know what yeah. I mean? But it just gives me hope that there's a Marvel land. I just yeah. want a Marvel land. Well, my stupid. my I was like prepped because I thought Kingdom Hearts like this. All this whole trailer is going to be nice in here. Bonk, 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 bonk. Ooh, <laughs> shut up! Yeah, people will just lose it. People and you just, just start throwing like, up. And just, like Mickey's world just get blown up by a Death Star. Yeah, man, Alderaan just gets exploded <laughs> yeah. again. <laughs> people would just start throwing up in their seats if that should happen. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to take it. And then cut Easter egg at the end of the trailer's ending. <laughs> end of the trailer. You see the fucking. You see the guardians pull up and like yeah. the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <I'm> gonna, <yo. laughs> you see the guardians pull up and two and two eagles. Oh, and it just cuts the black. That's a big kitty. <laughs> and that's how they end it. That, that's a big kitty. <laughs> fucking Drax. Yeah. I am taller than this kitty, but it's not bigger than me. <laughs> what? Oh, my news of, oh, my part, almost my news of the, of the whole freaking thing is we got the Resident Evil 2 remake trailer. Ooh. Yeah, that looked good. It almost made me want to buy a PlayStation, but then I went, oh, that's going to be on Xbox. So don't worry about it. 
I'm going to buy the shit out this game uh, what, by hook or by crook because I never got to finish the first Resident Evil 2 all the way. Mm-hmm. I, no, I finished uh, Claire's campaign. I didn't finish Leon's. Uh, and I really want to play this game over and over and over again. It just looks beautiful. It reminds me of... Remember Resident Evil 0? Or the Resi- Resident Evil 1 remake on the, on the uh, GameCube? Yeah. And how how they just redid everything? Mm-hmm. And from top to bottom was like it was it still holds up to this day with really good graphics. But this game just looks nuts. It just looks really atmospheric. It looks scary. Like, is this the game that's gonna make just zombies scary again? Maybe not. But it just looks like it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm really yeah. hyped for Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh man. Just looking like people play it. It just looks like so- something that's gonna be right up my alley. Turn off the lights, get a drink, play some Resident Evil. And then, weirdly enough, the show closed with Spider-Man, with PS4 Spider-Man, and him running through the the raft, as it were, fighting the Sinister Six, it appears to be. Mm-hmm. Looks good. <laughs> what can I say? Looks, what, what, what do you want me to tell you? It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. It looks super good. It reminds me a lot of Infamous. It reminds me of Batman Arkham series. Uh, look the neat. graphics, of course, look amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that's news to me. Yep. And that's pretty much the that's pretty much the Sony press conference. It was all right. Death Stranding just really pisses me off for some reason. <laughs> all right, we're gonna fly through the PC news because I know shit about PC games, but I do want to document it. So if you want to talk about any of this stuff, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna let it rock. Just let it rock. Just go through. Uh, let- here we go. The Forgotten City trailer is revealed. I have no idea what that is. Satisfactory looks like um, No Man's Sky uh, developed by Goat Simulator Team. I don't know what Satisfactory is, but I did see the trailer. It looks kind of interesting and weird. Yakuza 0 and Yakuza uh, Kiwami is coming to PC. That's a good get. Sega needs all the money they can have. Uh, Man Eater is an open world RPG that lets you play as a shark. I want to play as a shark. Um, Killing Floor 2 has Treacherous Skies introduced as an airship. Killing Floor 2 is kind of like a giant, bloody, like, Left 4 Dead simulator. Uh, New Star Citizen 2 is coming out. That sounds interesting. Sable is a beautiful adventure inspired by Studio Ghibli. That's great. Overkill is the Walking Dead release date announced. Do you know anything about this game? Uh, Pretty much looks like Left 4 Dead 3, Mike G. Over here, that's what it looks like. Back to you. Moving on. Sounds good. <laughs> sounds good to me. Two Point Hospital is hilarious. Theme Hospital Spiritual Successor. I don't know what that means. Double Finds Oblets is a mix, whatever that means. Between po- Pokemon and Stardew Valley, that's the PC press conference. Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry my PC heads are like, no, talk about Stardew Valley. But I don't want to talk about stuff I don't know right. about. And we were able to do that All right. in what took the PC gaming magazine two hours to do. Okay. <laughs> Right. They should have just did it that way. What idiots. Ubisoft. This is another one that we can kind of weirdly fly through, unless you have any strong feelings about any of these I'll games. I'll make a ding-ding noise uh, if I if I like it. They, all right, let's do this. Just Just Dance 2019 with that strange-ass intro got a release date. Beyond Good and Evil 2 finally got some gameplay. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. What is this game? This is... I know what it is. It looks what we saw was like pre pre alpha, right. dude. Like it was did super early. It looks super early. Yeah, we did. We saw a split yeah, second of the African American uh, lady jumping from like ship to ship, kind of like like a fifth element style and fighting some dudes. But it was only a second. It was like maybe fifteen, thirty seconds of gameplay. Yeah. And the rest was like their long ass intro cutscene. And uh, like production stills and stuff. You know, Joseph I mean? Gordon Levitt is also attached to this game because he is uh, part of this um, you know initiative called Hit Record. Uh, let's ret- let's talk about yeah. that for a second, man. Sure. So uh, I'll let you explain it. Go so for it. So Hit yeah. Record is virtually uh, a site where people collaborate together on different projects that are posted. For instance, when he had his TV show. Um, one of the projects was a short film about this, this, this. So someone would shoot the footage, someone would edit it, and someone would add music to it. That sort of thing. 
now with this new with connected with Beyond Good and Evil, so what I've gathered, you can you can work on projects that could be added to the game. Like if you wanted like a poster, like if they had a project of a poster that they want shown in the city, that then they would these people on Hit Record would work on it and then send it in. Or one of my friends told me that yeah. you could do a radio show if you wanted. I'm like, oh well, I think it'd be cool if I like did like an Alex Jones type show for the t- for the world. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. That's a good thing about their initiative is that they're allowing any form of creative yeah. people to add to it. And from what I heard, if your stuff is good enough, they'll right. pay you for it. So it's not a completely pro bono kind of situation. So. Like you said, if you wanted to do a radio show or write a or write a recipe book, or or offer artwork or offer voice talent, you can just it's not it's not you submitting your idea; it's you guys collaborating, working together. So you'll probably either piggyback on an existing idea or present an idea to the team that they will then brainstorm with you. And I think that's kind of awesome. Like if you can get paid to do it. If you can be creative and if you can have a credit in a game that this big, I think that's right. a pretty cool initiative. You know what I mean? That's, a, that's all I got on that. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> uh, moving on with, and that's what I have to say about that. Trials Rising is coming out soon. Another Trials game. They did this long ass uh, playthrough of, Divi- of the Division 2. And I like kind of like the Division, but yeah, it looks okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, Skull and Bones trailer Division was announced, two again? Uh, which is ding, 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 ding. Okay, move on. Division Two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. The, yep. the horn, the bell is deceptive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust it. Oh man, Skull and Bones is Ubisoft's ding, ding, boat ding. simulator where you, you play ding, as pirates ding, ding, ding. or something. <laughs> well, okay. From being a guy who really likes uh, that one boat simulator that just came out, uh, what's it called? Uh, sea of Thieves. Are you hyped I, for Skull and Bones? Like a more realistic take on that with more detail? If you want my opinion, my Skull opinion. and Bones might be better at pirate simulation than uh, Sea of Thieves. Just because Sea of Thieves had the issue of uh, not having a lot to do and you need to rely on several people to work on this boat. So it it has like a Trump on the multiplayer aspect of it. Mm, While right. Skull and Bones is that you're one person controlling a pirate ship. And there's other multiplayer stuff going along where like you you gather your friends to take down a ship and then there's a fight over the loot on that ship. Um Yeah, I see what you yeah, mean I, like Yeah. Sea of Thieves, the entire game, the whole engine is built around the team boat demo, uh, demographic, right? It's like you, you have to work as a team. One guy has to let loose the sails. One guy has to be in the crow's nest. One guy has to be on the on the wheel. But in mm-hmm. Skull and Bones, you're just you're pretty much just driving a car, it seems like. You know what I'm saying? There's no grand team dynamic to make the ship go forward. And if you just can mix the two, and that would be perfect, yeah. in my opinion. And let there be a Kraken or a Megalodon or something weird, like stupid shit in games like that. Uh, Elijah Wood came out for a split second and talked about his weird VR game called Transference. Uh, yeah, move on. Moving on. <laughs> Star Fox was announced for a game called Starlink, where it's like uh, uh, you put toys, you put on, toys your on your controller and make them go zoom zoom. I'll make them go zoom zoom. Moving on, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was announced. Uh, looks more looks more of the same than Assassin's Creed Origins. Can, if I can fight Zeus or some bullshit, then I'll buy the game because I like those god like the you fought the Egyptian god kind of like raid bosses. Those are kind of. Are fun. you saying that you want an Assassin's Creed God of War crossover? No, I really don't okay. want that because. Because who's going to defeat Kratos? He's not fair. Kratos is like no, the you most team not up. fair. Oh, that's even worse. Kratos, <laughs> doesn't, Kratos doesn't do anything stealthy. He dun dun a duns and he comes through. <laughs> Kratos well, you never play him. That's the thing. 
You only yeah. like he, you he just tries avoid to him. Beat you up. No, yeah. do it like Resident Evil Two or Resident Evil Three, and Kratos is like Nemesis, and he just keeps showing up to shit. <laughs> you have to avoid him, otherwise he'll kill right. you. That's yeah. dope. And uh, the crew two was announced. The crew two was announced. Racing. I fucking love cars. <laughs> I fucking much. love. I love cars. Love wheels. That's pretty much the, the trailer. Yep. Uh, we're gonna fly through the Square Enix press conference, which was the worst press conference in my opinion, because they didn't they, re- they didn't really talk about nothing new, except for one game, which seems interesting. Shadow of the Tomb Raider got a uh, trailer where Laura Croft starts the Aztec apocalypse because she's the worst human on the planet. Uh, Dragon Quest Eleven got announced. As I know there's a big Dragon Quest following. I've never played one of the games, but I'm happy they're happy. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit was announced by the guys who did the... Uh, uh, damn it, the name of that game escapes me. Where the girl can travel through time. Uh, but it's a point and left click. Behind. <laughs> left behind. Another Kingdom Hearts trailer, because Kingdom Hearts got a big push this year. Yeah. Uh, Just Cause 4 was announced. I'll buy it for 20 bucks. It's that kind of game. Because <laughs> there's really no plot. A weird game called Babylon's Fall was announced. And it's going to be made by Platinum Games. Ding. It's a, it's it's a, it's a CG trailer, and it looks dope. And I kind of get an idea what the combat's going to be like. Yeah. But we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> you know, nowadays Platinum kind of seems hit or miss with their with their quality. So I'm kind of right. like hesitantly optimistic about what this game is going to do. Uh, there was a new Octopath Traveler gameplay, which is like a going to be Square's version of like Final Fantasy Tactics for those out there. Kind of reminds me of that. And my favorite news of the actual conference was that Final Fantasy fourteen and Monster Hunter World are getting a crossover. <laughs> uh, it's like it's my two favorite things. So I may have to get back into Final Fantasy fourteen just for a little bit to do the Monster Hunter stuff and vice versa. Because, you know, I love me some Monster Hunter. Right. That's my happy noise. Uh, conference was eh. Conference was super eh. Moving on. Uh, Devolver Digital. Devolver Digital uh, Devolver. announced. Devolver. Devolver. Yeah. Devolver Digital. Devolver Digital announced Metal Wolf Chaos. Mm. If you guys don't know what the shit Metal Wolf Chaos is, you better learn it. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Google it. Google it. America, get ready America. to let's get ready to party. Welcome to America, America, America. All right, man. This Bethesda conference. Are you ready? You ready yeah. for this? This beastly. We're gonna have to talk about stuff. Bethesda conference. So let's kick it right off. What are your What are your impressions of Rage Two? Um, I definitely want to play it. Uh. I probably it will not be on my list to buy for a while. I'll probably wait till yeah. it goes down to like ten bucks. Right. Same here. Yeah. Uh same here. It's one of those where it's like twenty dollars, I'll take it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like but like I did the first one. The first rage I bought for twenty bucks at E V or at GameStop. I'm gonna have to do this one. It's not a day one. It's not a day one. No. Elder Scrolls Legends is coming to consoles. I'm not exactly sure what that is. That's a card it's... game, and it blows my mind why anyone would play a card game on console. Jeez. Oh, I try playing Magic on consoles mm-hmm. on my old PS3. Mm-hmm. Pray for me, guys. Um, Wolfenstein Youngblood was announced. And mm-hmm. it's, for those who like the Wolfenstein series, it's set in the 80s, and BJ Blazkowicz's da- twin daughters are now taking the fight to the Nazis to kick them in the dead fucking face. Hashtag diversity. Hashtag diversity. Uh, Prey's getting DLC where it's gonna have pretty much like a roguelike yeah. randomizer. That looks that sounds actually sounds kind of dope. It sounds like cool, it's just, but it's like I if you don't own Prey, <laughs> yeah, maybe buy Prey. Yeah, you, you can buy Prey for like twenty bucks right now. You know, it's fine. Yeah, are guess. they gonna charge for this movie crash? I don't know. I don't know. Probably, probably, <laughs> probably. It is Bethesda. Yeah. These guys are. These guys want their money now. 
All right. I know we're going to have to talk about it. What are your thoughts about Fallout 76? Um, well, I'm going to surprise some people and say that my mind is completely blown. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. Because, like, my. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Because go it was it. like. Go for it. Okay, it's just going to. I'm telling myself, like, first of all, I was watching Funhouse, and Bruce Green and I were, like, having the same mind idea because there we go. He said out loud, oh, they're. It's just the same old shit. That's what he said. Mm-hmm. Both, yeah. And uh, I'm like, yeah, it's pretty much they didn't upgrade the engine. It's just they changed yeah. the textures. And then out comes Todd saying, and we're introducing multiplayer. <laughs> my my God. Yeah. I, I thought people should have like started like rioting the streets because of the joy that they had. What is that, though? Like, okay. When I was, because, yeah. you know, me and you are really big Fallout fans, right? Just fucking love us some Fallout. Yeah. And at first I was like, okay, this is Fallout 4's New Vegas, right? This is their upgraded version of an existing game with new assets. It's, I'm cool with that. And then Todd comes out like the damn Terminator from the light beacons. And it's like, guess what? It's like a dozen people server multiplayer experience. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like that's never happened to Fallout. Fallout's always been a single player experience, no matter what, right? And right. It's like, how does Vats work, right? Like, like how does your leveling work? Like, well, I have so like, many questions. It looks like it's still going to have the leveling. We don't know about Vats yet, um, but it's going to have some. It's going to have to be in the game somehow. But it's not going to be as powerful as a system as before, in my in my opinion. Um, yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, and there's also, and you probably earn. I would make it. You would earn more XP without using your VAT system. Because what is VATs in real time? It's like it's it's the multiplayer game trying to figure out bullet time. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like how do you do that? You just you remove it from the equation. So I'm thinking that there's a high chance this game won't even have VATs. And that will make it different. And yeah, well, it's a, it's got to have it because that's a a functional like that is part. That's of a staple. The Fallout. Yeah, Fallout. Since Fallout Three. I don't know if it had it in one and two. Um, what if it's a split second thing where they cause everybody else's thing to lag, and for that split second of lag, you have Vats time, and you can choose where you want to shoot, and it's everybody shooting each other within fractions of a second. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That'd it's be gonna nuts. be. You know, there's there's specialty classes in every game, and they all have an alt that they can use, an ultimate. That's what VATS is going to turn into, I predict. Where, you're like, you press a button, and it's an ultimate that you use. So what is, like, McCree's ult, where he just starts putting yeah, bullseyes on people? It's high fallout. It's high <laughs> fallout. New good. Because I'm, 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 te- I'm sure there's going to be, like, a heavy class. There's going to be a stealth class. There's going to be the melee class, or probably the gunner class. And the gun class is probably going to have that McCree ult. And you're going to have the guy with the fat boy who's going to shoot yeah. that bad boy off and cause problems. Uh, apparently, it also has raids. Uh, raids. It also, ha- Did they say raids? Yeah, the nuclear silos sound like they're raids. Right. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, there's also going to be um, no progression lost in death. So if you're playing on a giant server and some asshole just camps you and kills you, you can take your stuff, but you won't lose your stuff. Is that is that right? Is that how That's they explain correct. that? Yeah. Uh, so apparently it's not going to be a huge server, so it's going to be like dozens of people inhabiting the entire world. But dozens meaning two dozen, three dozen? And how is that going to work in regards to like new game? Like how are NPCs going to interact with you, with real people as well? You know what I mean? Is it like... If, if if it's a me and Winner are like, hey, man, I, I'm having trouble with this side mission. Can you come and help me out? Can we both do the side mission at the same time and have the same interactions with the NPC? It's going to have, is it more, kind of, it's have more, more people online than Sea of Thieves, in my opinion, but less Fallout. than Destiny yeah. World. Yeah. I kind of don't want to play the game for the first month because you know the servers are going to be screwed. Yeah. You know, it's gonna, they're going to be busted. They're going to get DNS attacked, all types of crazy stuff. So I kind of want to wait to play this game and wait for them to stabilize the servers because you know 
this is Bethesda. Bethesda's buggy already. Mm-hmm. You know, God love them. And they don't know how to handle server shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be rough. The first couple of months of this game is going to be burnt. Are you going to buy the super pack with the uh, power armor life? No, life I find that stupid. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank mean, you. If, um, if you guys do it, hey, you're helping out Bethesda, which helps out me in the end. So, right. um, yeah. Go, That's fine. Yeah. The game, or you're already going to have to pay about a hundred bucks for the full game experience. For real. Yeah. And you have to make sure that you're on PlayStation Plus slash Xbox Live, whatever, whatever, to connect with people. Because yeah. apparently this game is online only outside of a, outside of a section that is single player, but it's not as robust as the online stuff, which is what they really want to push. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? How are they going to do mods? All right, let's move on. Let's, <laughs> we got it. Yeah. We Ooh. still have a bunch <laughs> we still have a whole other conference to go, so let's get through this. What is Starfield? You have you have any info on this thing? No clue, but it's supposed to be. It's their new uh, storyline, or like it's a their new, new IP. IP, yeah. It's the new IP. So there's Fallout, there's Elder Scrolls, and apparently we're getting uh, Starfield. And speaking of Elder Scrolls, they pretty much told us, "Shut up, it's coming." Yeah, that was that trailer. <laughs> they announced Elder Scrolls Six. For infinite time in the future. We yeah. don't know when that shit's coming Play out. Play this new Skyrim edition. <laughs> Please be excited for Starfield, but also know so you can you can stop bugging us that Elder Scrolls 6 exists. Right. On some level. Doesn't have a name, doesn't have a location, doesn't have a character. Just know we're thinking about it. Please stop asking us about it. Right? Yep. Microsoft. Oh, man, we still have EA. Uh, I want to really, I really want to talk about the Microsoft one. So let's just fly through the EA one okay. real quick. Uh, real quick, Battlefield Five multiplayer announced. Yay! FIFA, Boo, Battlefield Five, Battle Royale announced. Duh. What? I missed the EA announcement. They're the Battle Royale mode. <laughs> Duh! Of course there is. <laughs> EA. These guys are vultures, Get lit, dog. fam. <laughs> Get lit, fam. Whoop, 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 whoop. Origin Access premiere announced, whatever. They really, they literally stuck a microphone in front of a developer and said, what's the name of your game? Uh, we're going to call it Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Any trailer? Yeah. No. Any logo? No. Just take my word for it. Shut up. Unravel 2 was announced, and then it was out. You can play that now, I assume. Mm-hmm. Sea of Solitude was revealed to the most depressing thing I've ever seen in my life. Anthem was showed gameplay, and it doesn't look good, in my opinion. Anthem does not look good to me. And they're ruining the name of Command & Conquer by putting it on a mobile device. Terrible. It's an abomination. And it's wrong. Okay. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. Let's get through this um, uh, this Microsoft press conference. You know, ding, 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 if you want to talk about something. I don't see it here on this list, which is a damn shame, but I'm going to mention it now. They announced Devil May Cry 5. I am so damn excited to play this game. I'm a huge Devil May Cry fan from the first one all the way through. I own them all. The trailer looks awesome. They're actually going back to the storyline with Nero. Dante and Virgil, the gameplay look. They actually showed gameplay. It wasn't just a trailer. They showed actual gameplay in the movie, and it comes out like early next year. Let's go! I'm like, let's do it. So <laughs> I just want to save that a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't bit. know much. Unless about you had anything theory, to add so. to it, Winter. Um, I'm just really excited for Devil May Cry Five. Let's. Yeah. I, I literally screamed when I saw it. Come on, it's. Crazy nice. Ding, ding, ding. It's okay. Halo boy. Uh, Halo Infinite was announced. Whatever that is. Halo. Halo boys. What do you think? You think? What do you think this is? You think it's an uh, online? They're gonna online have a storyline. Uh, well, um, online gonna, uh, gonna be only experience, think, maybe. But then they're they're probably gonna. I don't know. I I'm afraid to say battle royale and Halo. No, no, no. Don't don't be so cynical. It's my job. To be of cynical. course, they're going to battle royale it up, man. They have to. <laughs> Halo is the baby of Microsoft. I'm tr- 
Okay, that's fine. I yeah, but it's very okay. I, I'm not gonna yeah. I'm not gonna poo poo your baby. <laughs> it's, man, uh, I wouldn't want you to. Yeah, it's yell definitely at me for just gonna be Halo comments, Six. So. so you just didn't want to number it <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Shakira? Uh, Shakira Shadows yeah. Die Twice is the next game from From Software. This thing, <laughs> Shakira, whenever, whatever, looks dope. Looks freaking dope. I want to play this game. I'm not really a Souls guy because they're too hard for my old whack and old man reflexes. But I want, I want, I want to own this game and support these guys because they're doing the Lord's work. Uh, from Software is so. Game looks sick. It's based in some kind of weird evil devil feudal. You know what? It looks like there's weird, like supernatural stuff going on. But in the trailer, it's very mundane. Right. Everybody just has weapons and swords and looks very normal. Kind of almost like Ghost of Tsushima that we talked about earlier. But it's made by From Software, so you know it's going to be a little nutty. Winter Soldier. Arm. You have grappling hooks. The guy has a, a, a Winter Soldier arm. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Uh, sequel to Ori. Winter, everybody has a Winter Soldier arm nowadays. Uh, the sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest is coming out. I, have, I know a bunch of people are hyped for that game because it was a beautiful game. Uh, we just talked about Fallout 76. Yeah, could not awesome. care Can't less that. about a game. Uh, Terry Crews' Crackdown 3 is coming out <laughs> soon. We just got a trailer for that. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I was never really... I, I missed the boat on Crackdown, Sue me. I, don't, I know some people love Crackdown. Uh, Nier Automata is coming to the Xbox One X with graphical updates. Become as God's edition. I need to play that game eventually. I hear it's, I hear it's sick. Um, we got a Metro Exodus uh, trailer, Metro Last Light, mm-hmm. uh, Post Apocalypse, I guess. Let's do it. Another Where Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. Okay. Kingdom Hearts was really pushed heavy in this E3. Uh, let it go. Forza. Horizon yeah. 4 was announced. I fucking love cars. <laughs> I love cars so much. Battle, Battlefield 5 individual story uh, modes. How do you feel about that, Winner? Oh, I think it's great. I loved it. I, I loved the one story that I played on Battlefield 1. So I'm just excited about Battlefield 5 in general. Let's go, man. I'm going to have to get play that just so we can... Yeah, Squid well, for the up, Xbox. Man. You have to get an Xbox first. I'm going to buy an Xbox because I want to play Devil May Cry 5 on it in like 4K. So, yeah. Uh, that I've made my decision. So, you'll see me out there, dude. And we uh, can finally stream together. Yeah, we can get on that Twitch, Bri. We yeah. got to make that happen sometime this year. We have to do it sometime this year. Just money is what they call funny. Uh, Microsoft mm-hmm. acquires five game studios, including Ninja Theory, which uh-huh. is a big get. Uh, Tales of Vesperia, um, definitive editions coming out. I know a lot of people were waiting for that. PUBG gets a new map. Yeah. <laughs> Session is announced for Notice Xbox Store. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I know it's over. The, the hype is over. Uh, Black Desert announced for Xbox One. Yeah. For those who don't know what Black Desert is, it's just a it's a RPG or it's something. An MMO that's going to take your money. Yes, it will. Uh, Jump Force was announced, which is this sick uh, uh, Shonen Jump fighting game where it takes place in real life New York. <laughs> you play as Goku, <laughs> fucking Naruto, Luffy, and uh, you're fighting Frieza <laughs> for some reason in New York. <laughs> and it's, it has this Good weird, it has this <laughs> weird, like realistic look. So the fire looks like fire, and Goku's wearing like actual like cloth and shit. It's really awkward looking. And at the end of the trailer, Light Yagami shows up from Death Note. <laughs> What's this power is going to be? Get hype. Uh, Gears, they had a whole suite of Gears of War games from the pop game, which I hate, mm-hmm. to the XCOM kind of Gears of War, to a legit trailer of Gears of War 5. And that looks pretty dope. That's another reason why I kind of want the Xbox One Xbox One X, because the game looks pretty. And I just want to be able to see that graphically. Gorgeous All right, stuff that's sometimes, interesting. You know, I've never been a Gears of War, Ge- and I thought they are, the series was done after three. But I I played two. I was really into two. I had a lot of fun with two. Uh-huh. 
but I didn't. I never played three. I didn't play four. Just I, oh, I didn't buy a one, man. Like I was just done after three sixty. Uh, Dying Light two got some gameplay, yeah. but they didn't show any of the monsters, so that's kind of a bummer for me. Uh, I already talked about Gears Tactics. That's yeah, I'm the, interested um, in Gears Tactics, by the way. They're uh, XCOM. Yeah, that's the Gears X- of War XCOM. Exactly. That's gonna be hard as hell, dude. Yeah. I missed it, but apparently they mentioned the new Xbox console. I I totally missed. Yeah, I don't think they actually that. did mention that they oh. they uh, talked about how they were working on it. <laughs> okay, because I was like, what? Like that wasn't yeah, in the no. conference. And the game I'm really hyped for, CD Projekt Red, the guys who made Witcher Three, one of my favorite yeah. games of all time, showed a trailer for Cyberpunk 2077, which ding, is their ding, next ding, major ding, game. Ding, ding. Yeah, let's talk about yeah. that shit. What is your initial thoughts on um, that game? Gonna be they have to make it open world, in my opinion. They should they need to definitely add some multiplayer elements to it. But I think they focus up they said that they're just focusing on the single player mode. That could have been for a different game, but uh Yeah. Um Yeah. Yeah, it looks neat. For like five times the size yeah. of the Witcher. It looks yeah. neat, right? Uh, it's, I'm gonna buy it because <laughs> I love The Witcher so much, and these guys literally can do no wrong. So it's gonna get bought. It looks dope. I want to be able to create my own custom character. Listen to them. I don't want to play as like wave. So hmm? Listen to them. Six vapor. Yeah, I just want. I want. I want. My, I want outside lungs that have like vape nation across them. You just vape all day. <laughs> it's the, that's what the sh- what the yeah. shit I want. And that's a conference, ladies and gentlemen. We survived. Oof. We did it, and we're running a lit bit late. We I do have some questions lined up, so let's, let's just fight through them real quick. I'm just curious of your ideas. Do you have a favorite E3 moment? My uh, favorite winter? was, it has to be Bethesda talking about the Fallout. Cool. That's a very good moment, because I don't know what the hell 76 was, and I'm yeah. really excited to see what it's Todd Howard is a man. Even though it is just... He is, he's God Howard. Yeah. Right? It's too powerful. Stop feeding him. He's becoming I do have too to strong. Say, if I could lump all these things together, I have, they need to work on people presenting these things. It's no, like Devolver gets it right. You don't have the actual developers talking. You have this actress on stage talking about this. Okay. But Devolver only gets it because it's making fun of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, like. I, for some reasons, yeah. you need to hire somebody that is not stuck in a cubicle that has social skills. <laughs> See, I, I love that you mentioned this because I have a thing about this: is that you can't so, win, right? It's if you're gonna have a person on stage, it's either Aisha Tyler who annoys the yeah. hell out of everybody, or it's businessman who's trying no, to sell no, you, you can, something. I'm talking. Both ways yeah, are disingenuous. But you could get, what I'm saying is, like, get a, I hate to say it, a Steve Jobs type personality. And, oh, uh, hear me out. Because it's like, uh, okay. right now, you just have um, people who are so deep into game developing world coming out and trying to tell these people who are not in the know, who are not seeing code 24 7. Um, Trying to break right. down, like, this game looks pretty because I worked three months on it. Break that down to, this game has great graphics thanks to this brand new graphics card. <laughs> sort of thing. But you know, like, people don't want to be sold, though. It's like, every, uh, there was a time, like, in the 2000s where everybody had, right. like, a spokesman. Like, and even now, like, Xbox has Phil Spencer, right? Uh, uh, Bethesda right. has Todd Howard, right? And these are guys who are actually working on this stuff, but actually have a right. personality. You know what I mean? Who could convey and and, and work a crowd? But even right, that, like you have to have still, some crowd workability. So clunky, though, in my in my view. Yeah, because they're still at yeah. the end of the day nerds. But you can you have know? like a, and they don't know how to talk. But to you humans. need like a real psychopath who can be a nerd as well as a <laughs> well spoken. <laughs> so you. So you would want like Morgan Freeman to come out and read to you like stuff he doesn't care no, about and no, I don't want actors about. and actresses you know I mean? or, like famous people do. I want people who are like trained like what if I were to tell you like if I like like of course we're all here to see Fallout seventy six. 
But you know what? Fallout 76 is not going to be like any other Fallout. In fact, it's going to be better than the other ones you've seen. Why is that? Well, because first of all, it is five times bigger than Fallout 4. Oh. And then while they're all clapping for that... It's, it's, it's a thing. You know, oh, yeah. I'm not going to give a full Fallout. It's like... <laughs> No, I, I was I was gonna let you rock, dude. Uh, but it's like you go to a car dealership, right? And you walk up, and the guy is a shark. He knows what he has to say. He knows how to counter, and it makes you it it makes you feel defensive, yeah. right? You're like, fuck this guy, right? Like I don't want to sell him to anything. But if you show some humility, if you show a little humanness or whatever, you may be more open to let your guard down and really take in their passion for what they're talking about. So if you have a salesman up there who's going to be like, guess what, guys? We have this True. penny and processor. Whoop, 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 whoop. And everyone's just like, oh, right. okay. But if you have Johan, who just crawled from under a desk, like, I'm so nervous. I don't know what to tell you about my mm-hmm. game. People's going to go, oh, I'm going to buy his game. You know? So it's, 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 a, right. it's a slippery slope. You don't want someone who's completely socially inept, but you also don't want slick, slick right. smick salesman. You, you know what I mean? You kind of have to have a. You want Reggie. Perfect. Thank you. I agree with that. You want a Reggie. You want someone who's going to go, Nintendo is a great system. I'm talking like Barack yeah. Obama. And you're like, yeah, I'd I can say, trust I'm that I'm going to kick your butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. When, uh, I'm going to kick know, your butt and smash. Never does. But Yeah, man. But my favorite E3 moment this year was the announcement of Devil mm-hmm. May Cry 5. Blew my damn mind. I lost my voice and had to take a nap after that. Uh, another quick question, because uh, we're running a bit late. Is there a fictional food that you would like to eat in real life? Please try. I'm interested in trying the milk from Star Wars. That blue yeah. milk? Yeah, me too. Oh, man. I want to try uh, I want to try a Bob's Burger because they seem real. <laughs> you know, I want to try yeah. one of Bob's Burgers. Like the pickle burger. I don't know why. Or like, you know what? I really want to try, and this is going to date me for real, like Beavis and Butthead had sour cream and salsa pork rinds. Yeah, I remember my parents watching that. So, (laughs) yeah, your parents are cool as hell, dude. Yeah. And real quick, name a video game franchise that you want to see turn into a '90s TJF level set. Oh, let's see here. Um, a video game franchise turn into a sitcom. I would do CSEs. (laughs) Nice. I would <laughs> I would do Silent, Silent Hill. Hill. <laughs> Honey, I like I'm step home. by step <laughs> with a freaking brick. <laughs> freaking uh, pyramid head pops up with like from work with his suitcase and his tie. Work was murder. <laughs> if well, you like our horrible I'd get jokes, the audience member out if they ever laughed like that. Like, get out. Yeah. You're a communist. Get out. <laughs> Damn, that's not a human laugh. <laughs> that was not a human laugh. If you want to, yeah. he's a witch. If you want to prove that you're not a witch, send your emails to masters of the nerdiverse cast at gmail.com. That is masters of the nerdiverse cast at gmail.com. Uh, dot com. Uh, what are you looking forward to this week? I'm man? looking forward to getting, uh, you know, some sleep. I have a wedding to go to. Um, nice. Dress nice. Yeah. Dress nice. Pay the price. Dress nice. Uh, I'm looking forward to sleep because I'm tired and it's hot. Uh, there's a new MOTN segment coming out this week, which I'm extremely excited for. Uh, MOTN Countdown. You heard it here first. Countdown. Where we're doing our top ten of whatever the hell we want to talk about, <laughs> <laughs> and the first count, and the first top ten we're going to be doing is uh, I did it. Um, if you have you heard him before on MLT and reviews, it's a buddy of mine, uh, Brian, and I did our top ten video games of all time. So we put a lot of work into that. Uh, it should be coming out sometime this week. So I'm really excited for you to hear it, and right. I can't wait to get your feedback. Um. Any any passing thoughts before um, we close this bad boy out? Don't get upset when Mercy doesn't heal you in Overwatch. 
you know what? If you were, if you can just get good, Mercy yeah. wouldn't have to go fly over and heal you. Or if you wouldn't break formation, then she wouldn't have to worry if Mercy's going to heal you because she's playing the back line and she's just going to heal everybody anyway. Yes, and watch pros play Overwatch to get better at Overwatch. Don't just that's watch pretty, other people. That's pretty much the golden rule. If you want to get good at anything, see what the good guys are doing and then yeah. incorporate that into your style. If you're playing, okay, if you're a Genji, don't ask for the Ana boost in your Genji. That's not for you. Okay? First of all. Second of all, don't play uh don't don't I hate you're gonna make me play uh Overwatch tonight. Uh don't play Widowmaker if you're up on a console controller. It's not meant for you. <laughs> Because you're not gonna, you're gonna have shitty aim, or you're gonna throw the entire match. Yes. In fact, I have to get going are built to watch Overwatch League. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I can just talk about this all night. But uh, th- thank you for listening to our show. If you want to listen to it more, please find us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, Sound, SoundCloud, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and Google Play. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe is greatly appreciated. Check out our website, MasterNerdiverseCast.com. We can listen to older episodes. Uh, you can find our Patreon. If you want to throw some money our way, we will always love it. And you can let us know how you feel because your words and your encouragements was what keeps this show running because it sure isn't money. <laughs> Dad. I'm of course, I'm of course been your host, Mike. G. And I'm been your other host, Winter Sturdivant. The second, to- the, the, it's not a second host. It's more like two sides of a coin. So I'm telling never been, fails. Uh, yeah, I've been heads for dead heads. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> Tails because Tails yeah. never fails. And we will <laughs> always ask you to take that one step beyond. <laughs> <laughs>